Alrighty gang, with the red dot on the screen with a brand new 4 star character, it's time for Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. It is day one of Human Torch Annihilus, the new 4 star character, so we're going to take a look at him, um, all the characters that are going to be required to get our legendary token, and, you know, go from there, and look at the vault. So, yeah, so we got uh, a battle against Colleen Wing, one of the newer five star characters, well, four star characters. It'd be, it would be kind of cool if she was a five, but I digress. So let's take a look at her skills and abilities, then look in Human Torches, and then see if we can game plan a strategy accordingly. Alright, so Colleen is a blue red and yellow user and then obviously I got my stuff flipped from hers um so her blue ability it, it costs five it's very cheap so she heals she heals and then if there's friendly fortified strike attack or projectiles on the board uh, then she gets an and an additional amount of healing and then she creates uh, a fortified concentration tile up to a max of three which makes her powers a whole lot cheaper and then um, then for each concentration tile on the board a uh, minimum of three all of her abilities cost at least two AP less and then while the concentration tile is on the board uh, she can't be stunned and doesn't take damage from attack tiles and at higher levels reduces it even further more healing um, again concentration tile still stays the same flashing blade is a red ability which costs nine actively deals damage and then uh, more damage or should say double damage based on the number of well, the based on the value of friendly strike tiles on the board, and then if there's a concentration on the concentration tile on the board, then remove one and then deal an extra 50% damage. So it's not I'm not gonna really call it call it a nuke, not per se, but it will do. You know some pretty disgusting damage in four star land you know if you can pair her up with the right people and then passively um she takes less damage from matches and abilities equal to the value of all friendly strike tiles so an example would be if friendly strike tiles on the board have a value of we'll say 500 anything less than 500 you know it will you know it'll be reduced from you know from that bank so if it's less than 500 no but if it's you know 501 then it's like one point of damage or whatever you know and then finally heroes for hire this is again another one of those active passive abilities so it costs 10 it's it's expensive she creates a fortified strike and protectile equal to the team's strongest match damage so in four star land um <clears throat> everybody's match damage is pretty much consistent meaning say like whoever like everybody at 370 has got pretty much the same match damage uh anybody if you got characters that are 280, their max damage is pretty much the same. So, unless you put, uh, oh my goodness, supports up on them. But anyway, um, it'll it'll create the fortified strike and projectile, and then it heals the team for a burst of health. And then if there's any friendly concentration tiles on the board. Then you remove one and then create an another fortified strike tile. And then she deals 100 
an 80% bonus match damage for each Heroes for Hire on the team. And again, that's, you know, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, uh, Misty Knight, you know, for an example. And then her affiliation for, uh, for the things that do matter. Heroes, Heroes for Hire, Street Level, Team Iron Man, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, Colleen... Colleen, to break her down in a nutshell, she wants a concentration tile out to make all of her stuff cheaper. Uh, when you want to do massive amounts of damage, go in for the red. Like if you want to create, if you want to create strike tiles on the board, you know, make sure you have at least one. Con make sure you have at least two concentration tiles on the board, then fire off her yellow to add strike tiles and. You know do massive damage all right so now we got a uh, human torch a nihilus um obviously member of the fantastic four his red ability is fireball special so this this here is in line with his uh three star and four star counterparts with it costing uh costing eight so you select a tile, color, you deal damage, destroy four random basic or enemy special tiles of the chosen color, obviously prioritizing enemy special tiles, and then destroy tiles, deal damage, grant AP, and then if a cosmic uh, control repeater tile exists, then, then the damage is, is increased by 70%, and at higher levels, again, more damage, uh, Increased damage from the uh, cosmic control ride, and then obviously uh, one more or a couple more enemy basic tiles, enemy or basic tiles destroyed. Which that's gonna that's gonna stink against someone like Battery Bill, because um, Battery Bill wants his tiles destroyed. So yeah. All right, cosmic control ride. This is his cheap red, I mean, black ability. Uh, well, I mean, his red is pretty cheap too, but it's black ability. Uh, creates a two term cosmic control rod uh, that deals damage. It lowers the abilities by one AP, minimum of three. So that means you can fire off, you know, you can, f uh, you can fire it off multiple times. Um, then it increases his max health by 6% per, uh, per repeat. So whenever, uh, the repeater decrements, decrements from one to zero or, you know, however the repeaters work. I mean, I know how repeaters work is, you know, I'm just trying to make conversation here. So his, uh, max health is increased by 6%. And then if you already have a cosmic control rod tile, then it will be fortified. Now, I don't know why it's not fortified to begin with, but that's just me, though. And then uh, uh, finally, his Annihilation Wave. This is his green ability, which costs eight. Uh, converts up to six enemy special or basic tiles into attack tiles. Prioritizing attack tiles, so... Or prioritizing special tiles. So again, that's this is gonna this is gonna stink for us a little bit when Colleen starts to be impervious with uh is it with attack tiles? And then at the start of the each turn, if a cosmic uh control rod repeater tile exists, then the attack tiles are improved by thirty three percent. So you can see that he's got a little bit of Nico Minoru slash Kitty Pride. So yeah. He's he's interesting to say the least. Uh, as far as affiliations go, heroes, Fantastic Fourteen, Cap, Enhanced, so yeah. Again, I'm glad that we do have a four star human torch, you know. Is that it's good that all you know, all the members of the Fantastic Four are finally four stars, but, you know.
Let's see here. Alright, let's go and get the Cosmic Control Rod already out. Wow, that was kind of a lame animation. Okay, there's the damage there. Uh, let's just... Now nah, we kind of want red. So, so we can fire a fireball special again. Could I have gotten rid of blue? Yeah, probably could have. All right, now it's fortified. Not calling a fire off her common breath to make make herself a little bit more cheaper. Special. Uh, let's see here. We'll go this way. Do a little bit of denial. That's a match five. Alright. Oh, okay. It's already been been reduced cool uh, let's go with green and that's gonna that's gonna end Colleen wings uh, morning so there you go I said I could see some some good damage potential out of Johnny but you know it's like everything that you need to to utilize them you know it, it takes some time and with you know certain characters eh. again thank you Alliance for playing always want to shout you guys out one more day to some command points so y'all probably be able to see that there either with the welcome to shield or the Crash of the Titans. So let's let's do some damage against Johnny. So uh, since he likes to use uh, special tiles, well, let's break out our anti-special tile user, his brother-in-law. I know he can't be stunned, so that's gonna sting. I could have been mean and did his sister. Eh, well. Now, it wouldn't. Now, it. Now, it would either shock or surprise me if we don't have a Fantastic Four member as, um. As one of the members of Welcome to Shield. Like, if we didn't, man, that would be, uh, relatively disappointing. Yeah, tonight Johnny is red, even though I could have went for black. Can keep Johnny from getting getting his green. He destroys purple. Alright, cool. We're gonna heal off some damage here heal off some damage here pop off a magic knot 
cool. It's not in a place where where it can be easily matched away. I do kind of like the um, the way that that both Human Torch and um, Mr. Fantastic both have both have um, repeater tiles as a part of their kit. That's actually pretty cool. Cause I didn't, I didn't even think about the, about that synergy there. Oh, well, we got, uh, let's see here, um, uh, for every four, we don't have enough. Oh, okay, we did. I didn't think we had, I didn't think we had, had enough special tiles on the board to, uh, to activate flexibility. I knew the stun wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna activate, but it was worth a shot. Alright, day one warm up, that's... Uh, uh, it's three star, well, two star storm. All you need to know about her, uh, she can stun with her blue, which costs 11. Uh, her green is a board shake for 12. And then she can do retaliatory damage if, um, if you do, uh, the required amount of damage to, uh, either her or her allies. That's pretty much Storm in a nutshell. Um, again, doesn't really matter because she's she's cannon fodder for Thanos. Again, we're, we're just we're just skipping all the way to the uh, to the good stuff. No, this is not good stuff. No, not for fifty dollars. No, no. All right, uh, Doctor Doom. I had to speak with reverence on on Doom because Doom is Doom. Um, black uh, converts uh, red tile, basic red tiles into uh, red attack tiles for 12 in black. His blue ability will convert um, some number of blue tiles into black tiles at higher levels. Um, you can convert all blue tiles to black for nine, and then his uh, diabolical plot, which costs ten, it does it creates a uh, a purple trap tile on the board at the start of each turn, and then for ten purple, so you remove all of your trap tiles on the board, and then uh, do damage. Do damage to the enemy team. Well, do damage to the enemy who's out in front. So, yeah. Doctor Doom in a nutshell. Again, it doesn't really matter because, well, Thanos and Court and Death. Again. Um, no, Cortana. No, no. We don't want you right now. We don't. So we don't need you. All right, day one toughen up is with Totally Awesome Hulk. Really, Totally Awesome Hulk of all people. <sighs> the reason why, why I'm I'm signing the, an exasperation is because, okay, we have a Human Torch. Yo, let's Fantastic Four. That's why I'm signing it, an exasperation. So Totally Awesome Hulk. Green, blue, black user. It's green, cost 12, does damage to the target. Um, you select a 3 by uh, You select a tile to destroy a 3 by 3 block of, you know, tiles from the selected tile. And then if you have less than 12 AP, then it'll destroy some random tiles you know, um, amongst of the tiles on the board but if you have 12 blue then the green becomes a whole lot stronger 
it still does the three by you know still does the three by three and obviously you know you don't gain AP uh, from the destroyed tiles his blue ability is a passive it creates a uh, two turn countdown tile or it just creates a countdown tile in pe period uh, depending upon your levels it could be the uh, two turns or three turns and then when the countdown tile reaches zero it'll convert some number of basic tiles to green tiles does damage to the to the enemy target and that's that power in a nutshell and then finally his black ability uh cost seven hot dog stand what it'll do it will grant amadeus cho health and then also too uh it will convert um some 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 number of tiles into either green or blue charge tiles. I believe it's green or blue charge, green and blue charge tiles. But I know it's charge tiles for sure. Yeah, yeah, green and yeah, green and blue charge tiles. There we go. Uh, affiliations, it really, really doesn't matter. I mean, but we'll we'll do it for the sake of this here. Uh, Heroes, Champions, Team Iron Man, Illuminati, Gamma Mutates, Enhance, yeah. Alright, let's get rid of the Sentry Fighter, because I don't want any, want any ridiculous board shakes right about now. That, and then plus two whenever they uh, add those attack tiles to the board. It gets to be stupidly annoying. Yeah, man. Either way, I'm I'm gonna take the damage regardless. Well, you'll get rid of all those green there. Or I should say green tiles will come back on the board because of Cho. Alright, we got a 50 50 chance on somebody being invisible. Alright, cool. Johnny, Johnny, you're out in front. Yay. that uh then let's get rid of get rid of them could I have used could I have waited a turn to use Amadeus show yeah sure Again, the 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 firing off of the team up again doesn't really impact the uh, the fight that much. Uh, finally, day one test of skill. Ooh, at least at least we have a champion character. Uh, Phoenix Five Emma Frost, which uh, yeah, I actually got some shenanigans that I could do with her um, on day two. Provided I I get a chance to use my uh, five stars again, I do reserve the right to use my five stars, you know, champion five stars if need be, but but we typically will use fours. So anyway, um, she's a red, blue, and purple user, much different than her three-star version and her four-star version. 
uh, her red ability is Psychic Flames. Uh, she destroys eight selected basic tiles, deals damage to the enemy team, and then uh, completely drains our red AP, dealing extra damage per AP drain. And of course, uh, destroyed tiles don't generate AP or deal additional damage. And then passively, um, she increases her teammates' ability damage by 70% plus two red AP and then Phoenix Force allies deal an additional 15% ability damage so for those that don't know uh, Phoenix Phoenix Force allies would be uh, obviously five star Jean Grey Phoenix Cyclops Magic and Colossus and then of course including herself and then whenever we finally get the uh, five star uh, Namor you know he'll be a Phoenix Phoenix five member too my own best friend this is her blue ability which costs five uh, what she does is she'll create a three turn fortified uh, diamond countdown tile and then uh, shifts into her diamond form and when she's in her diamond form she obviously can't fire off any uh, skills and abilities. Uh, her match damage is increased by 50%. She takes 100% reduced match damage up to a minimum of one. She obviously can't be stunned. And then when her uh, her countdown tile runs out or is destroyed, she reverts back to her human form where she can fire off her skills and abilities again. And then she has, uh, when all of her her teammates are down and she has no active diamond countdown tile then then it will trigger my own best friend and you know she gets the the benefit of the uh, of the powers of the um, of the diamond form increased match damage blah 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 and then finally mental block which is her purple ability which costs nine what she'll do, she destroys two random enemy special tiles, prioritizing repeaters and countdowns, and then she creates a two-turn fortified countdown tile that reduces all the active uh, opponent's ability levels by two levels, and then, you know, destroyed tiles deal damage but don't generate AP, and then higher levels, uh, she, she reduces it by three, creates... Uh, longer repeater tiles blah 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 so her her purple is uh, again a slightly worse version than her four star versions yellow which i like her first four star yellows yolo, yellow <laughs> yellow um much better than hers then of course her affiliations again heroes x-men mutants phoenix force you know all that good stuff there all right, so let's let's get uh let's get Emma Emma ticking. Find out where my bounty hunter is at. Analyst, cool. All right, bounty hunter on a mecca. So we'll switch over to them. All right, let's put out this mental block. All right, so let's go ahead, do this damage here this way. Cause again, she's got eight tiles to destroy. So we're gonna have fun per se, trying to figure out which all tiles we want to destroy uh yellow is pretty much useless for us here so i destroy that and i can destroy that all right cosmic control rod then annihilation wave
All right, put it back on the analyst. I think here we're actually gonna prioritize uh purple real quick. Let's go out to the assassin. Assassin! Don't, well, don't worry. We're gonna make the cosmic control rod fortified, so I'm not even worried about it. Okay, that'll work too. Fireball special. This targets a purple. All right, let's turn her into her diamond form just for kicks and giggles so we can have the increased match damage. But yeah, this version here, Emma Frost, again, while her, her trick is the fact that she, you know, she can do uh, manipulations with the, uh, with the boards and, you know, some interaction with uh, Phoenix Force members. So obviously, you know, hey, pair her up with the either Jean Grey or the Cyclops, or really, if you if you just w want like mass chaos and destruction, yet yeah, pair up with uh, with Colossus and just go to town on folks. Human Torch and Friends, you know, the Vault. Again, uh, the, the standard stuff, the the featured four star character, uh, one of the featured four stars in, uh, in the Welcome to Shield, the featured three star, and of course the featured two star, the legendary token supports random assortment of, uh, of a four star, random assortment of three stars, heroics, mighties, you know, ISO 8, all that good stuff there. So let's see here what we, ah, we actually got, we actually got another uh, green human torch. So starting, starting our build of Johnny off right uh, with more green, which again, it's never a bad thing there. So we'll, uh, we'll add those there up into the pile so now he's a 222 because I got uh, rewards for him for my uh, my duplicate three-star human torch from farming and again this is this is why I always stress out about farming again that's my two 257 human torch and then there's my 256 right there so boom I think I think I just about got almost all of the rewards well we'll be getting shards with uh, with both versions of Human Torch both Jim Hammond and uh, Johnny Storm but yeah that's gonna end the video here uh, hopefully day two we'll have some We'll have some sort of strategy to uh, to help out with uh, those that are gonna gonna have an undercover Emma Frost or probably plan on using four stars, but we'll deal with that there tomorrow. Um, again, we got that, and then we got the Crash of the Titan, so we'll get a we'll get another free legendary token at least tomorrow. You know. Uh, thank you all for watching uh, and for those who don't who aren't aware is like before the end of the month uh, you should take advantage of that uh, 99 cent VIP if you if you choose to do so get yourself some rewards you know all that good stuff there um, be excellent to your fellow human beings and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next in the next video which will be tomorrow peace